today's wig show and tell is brought to you by neat and sleek so i'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store in the description box neat and sleek was kind enough to send me one of their full lace wigs box braided wig units and this wig have been taking over youtube so i was like hey let me see what the hype is about the color that i have is 1b the cap size is medium and that braided piece on the hairline is just the baby hair that they braided down so like i said this is a full lace wig they did attach a adjustable elastic band in the front you get two combs and the nape area you get another comb with adjustable straps the parting space at the top is about a 13 by 6 to me and they already went ahead and bleached the knots yay also the lace color is on the brown side so now i'm just gonna go ahead and pull out that braided baby hair Right here, I'm just taking my hot comb and pressing out the baby hairs. So far, that was very simple. The length of the wig that I got is waist length, and I really like how the braids come and come really neatly constructed. The hairline is a bit longer than my hairline, so I'm just cutting off the extra lace by the air tabs. makeup like the lace is already tinted to like a light kind of brownish color but it goes with my skin like wow you thought this was hd lace and look at the scalp action y'all what what say word Hold on, it's funny, I was just on live on YouTube talking about a wig sale. And I'm saying, I'm gonna put this in the wig sale. I don't know if I am. I don't know, but it's okay because I have more Brock Sprayed wigs, you guys. Y'all didn't even know. Y'all didn't even know. Wow. So because this is a wig show and tell to install my wig, I'm just going to be spraying by the air tabs up to the temple and I'm using the olive oil super hard hold spray. I really love this spray. It really has a good strong hold and it doesn't really break me out compared to the got to be glued freeze blast spray. So after that, I go in with the blow dryer on warm and I just blow dry until it's completely dry and to help push the tips of the lace in because you really want the lace to be laid down i use the end of a rat tail comb the baby hairs are a little too thick for my liking so i'm just going in with my tweezers and plucking some out
First of all, do not laugh at my baby hairs on the forehead. I'm trying to get it right, okay? I know it do not look good. I'm going to notice it don't. Because right now, I don't know. I look like a little shape up, like a boy type thing. So stay tuned. I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix it and try to make it do what it do. And I'm done. No, this wig is fire, you guys. Don't even front. This is the best braided wig I have ever received in my life. And I think it forever will be so far. What? This is so nice. Like, I love it. The braids are really neatly constructed. There's no flyaways on the braids. I don't have to go in with no hot water to straighten the braids. It just looks so freaking nice. It looks like I just got it done. There's a shine on the wig, but I like the shine. As for the lace, the lace blends really nicely with my skin. Um, You can see my cap underneath, but to get a flawless install, all you have to do is do the ball cap method. If you do not know what the ball cap method is, then I recommend you type it in on YouTube and check it out. But otherwise, I have no complaints. Like, there's nothing to complain about. This wig is a nice. I didn't even have to go in with any foundation or powder. Great job, neat and sleek. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and get back to them as soon as possible. See you guys in the next video. Later, you guys.